Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode here of another Factorio series. Uh, this one we are going to be calling Factorio Workshop, and I am here with Mad Zuri. Hello! And, uh, yeah, you guys probably remember him if you watched our Relearning the Game uh, tutorial series. And uh, he's back again here with us for a series where we're going to go over different builds uh, to, for the first episode or two. Uh, just to start off, we're going to come up with some builds of our own and kind of go through why some are good, why some are bad, and the differences between them. And then from that point, uh, we're going to involve the community and we're going to take a lot of submissions is is what we're kind of wanting to do. Have people submit builds that they want us to look at and, you know, maybe fix or tweak or just, you know, say, you know, if it's good or bad, etc. So kind of like a fix-it series, maybe like kind of like Root did, but except for just a build rather than an entire factory. We're going to fix all the builds. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, hopefully we don't make too many people mad. Um, but <laughs> Zuri, I think, uh, is going to start us off here with some builds he did. Yeah, I play a lot of uh, random servers online just to see what, what's common and what people do. And I see this smelty build over here quite often right and let me explain why it's not good so they have a usually a mix belt coming into the center and an output on both sides with a rebalancer on the end and the reason this doesn't work is it only has half a belt of copper input and they're trying to pull a whole belt out Right. And then, yeah, I mean, this balancer here, this, like, isn't really needed even, is it? No, this this is totally not needed, and you should actually never need a rebalancer like this ever. So that's one of the first things I'm going to fix in every single build I see is to get rid of these. <laughs> right. And uh, there will probably be quite a bit of them. Yeah, I suspect they're going to be quite common. But moving up, we have one of my older builds, and something I'd rather like, actually. I use, like, three kinds of inserters on it, burgers, just because. <laughs> so it has a common coal line on the outside, or solid fuel, if you want to use that, or wood, or whatever. It's burnable. So mm -hmm. it's easy to tile up and down, and it has one built input of or and one bit output of plates and again it's inherently balanced since inserters can pull from both sides of the belt it you don't even need to like balance the or input it'll inherently balance itself and balance the output right and this version is literally the same thing except spaced out a little bit so that you can upgrade it to electronic furnaces later all you gotta do is pull up the coal line and the burner inserters and replace these with electric furnaces and there you go yeah so this is um th these upgradable ones are really nice because if you want to use your like current smelters to upgrade to electric furnaces these are far easier than something down here where you have to i mean at this point you might as well just build a whole new furnace setup because you'd have to like tear down everything Well, it's not so hard once you have bots, but it still takes less work to replace this build versus this build. Right. So, so yeah, here um, we have that bad build here. I mean, I, I guess I feel like we should do a disclaimer, um, or I, I feel like we should that, you know, Factorio, you can play Factorio however you want. I don't think there's like actually a bad way to play Factorio unless you're strictly looking at like efficiency um, but just in terms of playing the game I don't think there's just a bad way to do it and that's not really what we're saying we're looking more at efficient things and things that are just better or worse than other things uh, so just a little disclaimer there you know we're not saying you know just play this way or you're bad um, we're, we're looking more at, at efficiency and just like usefulness with resources and space and such 
Yes, I'm going to do all the min-maxing. So if min-maxing isn't your thing, then this probably isn't the right series to watch. Yeah. So moving on here, we have some builds I threw together. This one is, I think, very common. Uh, this is actually the one Zuri and I used um, initially in our beginner guide series, and it works very well. You have iron and coal on the sides, and now at first glance, people are probably thinking, well, what's the difference between this one and the bad one Zuri showed because you have a mixed belt? Well, the difference here is that we're bringing in a full belt of iron and a full belt of coal and then sending them down two different belts. So we're already starting off with a full belt, whereas the one Zuri showed um, is just split from the beginning, so it's less resources. Um, and then it's just inherently balanced down the middle. As Zuri has stated, there's no reason to put another balancer. It's just balanced. And this works quite well. This is litter, or not this, sorry. This is, I mean, it's a little different, kind of the same concept. Um, the furnaces are just spaced out different just to show a different spacing method. You can see that's why it's longer, same amount of furnaces. Um, but here we're using just a full belt of iron, full belt of coal down the middle without sending them on the outside and doing half and half. And the plates are sent on the outside and then merged here. And side loading, um, in 0.13, I believe actually does fully compress a belt. Uh, it looks like it does. Yep, certainly does. So this uh, will work fine. And again, it's pretty inherently balanced. This guy here. Uh, this is pretty similar to the one on the far right I showed, except this one is upgradable um, to electric furnaces. So that's why we have these extra belts here. Um, that will side load onto the middle here, which is where our plates will go. Uh, we have this here so that later on you can do this. And all you have to do pretty much is just remove these extra belts and just stick your inserters where those were, and then you have room for electric furnaces and your iron and copper or iron and coal go on the outsides. So, I mean, these there's not really a bad one out of these because uh, the main you know, not so good one that we see is the one Zuri showed off. Um, but there are a few other things we wanted to cover that are probably not good things to do. Um, if you want to go over that, Zuri. Um, yeah, so something else I've commonly seen is a build like this, except on the right side is copper and the left side is iron or something like that. And then a mixed belt in the middle. For the most part, you want to avoid using mixed belts at least this early in the factory. You, you need them for uh, more complex things, but for smelting, you definitely want to keep pure belts. But never mix the belts this early in the factory. Yeah, so you're going to want dedicated smelting setups. Um, you know, your inclination when you're new, and I am totally guilty of this, like my first two or three playthroughs, um, is just having, like Zuri said, having like half of this belt be copper. So like half of your smelter smelts copper and half smelts iron, and then you mix them in the middle. This doesn't work very well. And uh, I think, I mean, that's pretty much the same concept as the, you know, reason why this one isn't so great. Um, I guess a potentially even worse version of that is when you like completely mixed stuff so you just have like iron and copper because i have seen this you have like iron and copper here on a belt like not even divided by sides you just have you know like iron and copper or just like scattered on both sides in between each other and stuff and you try to smelt that and then have some like complex sorter at the end or something um you're gonna have a lot of problems because you're gonna clog up your furnaces with one type of or, and then if another type comes by, it can't be inserted because a different type is in the furnace, and it just creates a mess. Yeah, mixed belts causes lots of headaches. You want to avoid them whenever possible. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I think that pretty much covers it. Is there anything else you wanted to touch on here in regards to smelting setups? Uh, no. I don't think no. so. But we can we can cover like the fact that it doesn't really matter how you do mining. Mm -hmm. It'll balance itself out in the end, really. Right. Yeah. So you just pretty much. I mean, you want to make sure you obviously have enough miners to sustain your entire smelter um, if you need that much throughput. But other than that, it's not that big of a deal. 
and uh yep you know saying all ores copper coal and uh i mean that pretty much covers it you know this is pretty straightforward uh you know next episode we might do something with train stations um and then we would like some submissions for uh to, to go over so i guess um we can cover that really quick here the best way to probably do that is if you install the blueprint string mod um and i'll stick a link in the description where you can find that or just use the mod portal in game since that's there now um if you download this this allows you to take a blueprint of something and uh and then like export it and if i'll give you the link again because there's instructions how to use it and then we can take that and just import the blueprint into our save and it's easier um if you're at a point where you don't have blueprints yet um just take like a decent picture of it and we'll try to you know rebuild it how you had it um but those are the two main ways you can submit stuff it can be anything science builds um smelters you know if there's one that's like entirely different than something we went over you're not sure about uh train unloading loading you know pretty much anything you want us to uh cover And really, I think that about covers it. Uh, so, if you uh, if you don't have anything to else else to add, Zuri, I think uh, I think that closes out this episode. Yep, that's everything. Alrighty, guys, there you go. If you have any feedback, comments, questions, etc., put them down in the comments, and we will uh, reply to them. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. And until the next episode, we will catch you later. Bye.